Hi there. I am not Han, <laughs> but she's here today to show you three different ways you can do a pretty neat curl setup. Oh, fuck. All right, so Matt thought that he could do a better job than me, so you guys can vote on that. But anyways, it's really quick and simple to do, and I'm actually going to do my makeup right afterwards so that when the curls heat up, I can just unravel them and I'm ready to go. So let's get started. So I'm going to use the Conair Hot Rollers today to curl my hair, and they take like less than two minutes to heat up. Before I apply any heat onto my hair, I want to first brush it and then apply a heat protectant to the areas that will be heated to protect my hair from getting split ends and heat damage. And I'm also going to spray a light coat of hairspray onto my hair because I have straight hair and it doesn't hold curls so well without any product. So I just have to put like a little bit of something on and then brush it so that your hair is nice and smooth. Alrighty, so when I use hot rollers, I like to start with my bangs. So I'm going to get the largest size roller and rolling it away from my face um, on the crown area. Now I'm just going to grab a clip and clip it in place. So I'm going to do another roller right beneath that one that's the jumbo size. And then I'm going to use a smaller roller to do the rest of my hair. So just do it towards your face and roll it all the way up until you reach kind of where your root area is and then you're going to clip it in place. You're going to want to use the flat side towards the scalp and then the kind of curvy side away from your face. Alright, so the rest of my hair I'm going to do the exact same thing I did to the previous one and I think I used like about four rollers overall. Alright, so when the rollers are heating up, which will probably take less than 10 minutes, you're going to do makeup or whatever you want when you get ready for school. And then just unravel your hair and, um, yep, you get the curls. And sometimes if you tug a little too hard to unravel the curl, all you have to do is twist it back in place. Guy, I love to unravel these things because it looks so shiny and bouncy afterwards. And voila, this is what it looks like after you are done curling your hair. Now I'm going to smooth my hair in place using a brush. Alrighty, so for the first look, what you're going to do is take half of your hair and tie it with a scrunchie. Alrighty, so I'm just going to poke my fingers through this half section and kind of pull the ponytail into that little loop. And you get this little twisty effect. Alrighty, so for the next hairstyle, I'm going to grab the rest of the hair and tie it into a lower, lower, I can't talk, ponytail and then secure it with a scrunchie. Alright, so grab that half section, just put it out of the way. So this is going to be a lot easier and you're going to repeat what you did previously in the first half um, updo thingy where you just kind of grab your fingers through the loop and pull the rest of the hair downward. Alrighty, so for the last hairdo, it's a little variation from the previous one where instead of putting the ponytail directly below the half updo, you're going to put it to the side and then simply doing that twisty thingy and you get the last hairdo. Alright, so it's end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and till next time, bye! bye. <laughs> and make sure to tune in next time for another cool tutorial. <laughs>